Hi guys, I'm Shani from Soul Hula and this tutorial is going to be a little bit different in as much as I'm not going to be teaching you tricks to start with, I'm more going to be teaching you, um, I guess, just some guidance about flow. But after this, we'll go on and I'll show you just some uh, little things to play about with just to give you some more, I guess, fun and experimentalness in your flow. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is the fact that I personally don't believe that you have to be an amazing hooper to have flow. I actually don't think you need to um, know any hula hoop tricks at all to be able to have flow in your dancing or your practice or your hoop practice. I think flow is actually just something that is more of a state of mind. Um, so obviously it helps if you're really good at hooping and you know loads of tricks and you think you're the best hooper in the world and you can do loads of stuff, then you'll probably have really good flow. But uh, really, if you're just learning, you can also have good flow too. So the second thing about flow is, I'd say, confidence. So confidence and flow are pretty much on par with each other. That's what I think from my personal experience from people who I've taught, from kids to adults to like older generations of people. When you're feeling really confident and things are going great and you're just moving with the hoop and things are going great and you feel good about yourself, you're flowing and things are going pretty good. Um, however, say you start hooping and you've only been doing five minutes of practice but you've dropped the hoop like 50 times and you're just feeling really, really rubbish about what's going on and all this dropping the hoop and you're never going to get better, then you're not really going to be flowing and actually that cycle of dropping the hoop is going to continue. Likewise, if you're super confident, like to the point where you're maybe too hyperactive and just like just so excited maybe about something that's going to happen later today, then you're probably going to be a little bit scatty and a little bit kind of off and all over the place and wanting to do 10 million things at once. So, you know, you've got to kind of get this, um, this confidence level quite like just right and this flow kind of will follow a lot easier said than done. The third thing about flow is, uh, I guess, judgment, and this kind of goes along with the um, confidence thing. So, if we think about flow as actually not just a fixed point in time, it's a continuum which can happen within one dance practice or one hoop practice, or it can happen like throughout the whole year or your whole life. So, depending on kind of how confident you're feeling at a certain moment, it's important to really look at why that is that you're feeling that and acknowledge it but don't judge it too harshly so like I talked about earlier dropping the hoop all the time and just acknowledge like okay I've just dropped the hoop 50 times in five minutes this is really really annoying me but don't kind of you know like beat yourself up about it and say oh god I'm an awful hoop but just say okay I've dropped the hoop and so then it's time to move on to a better kind of um, better point in your practice so after we've looked at uh, our, I guess, ourselves and how confident we feel, after we've not really judged the issues that are going on for us during the practice or during our lives and are just present, we can start to try and find balance in our practice and we can just uh, be in the moment and, you know, not be either high or low or just, just kind of flowing with this practice. And so the final point would be uh, letting go. So you've got this balance and you've got your confidence quite right. And then you're actually just going to forget everything that I've just been talking about. And you're just going to let go. And you're not going to think about what you're going to be doing. You're just going to let your body tell you what to do. Like, and you're not even going to focus on your body telling you what to do. You're just going to move. So, so you're going to centre yourself and then you're just going to let it all go and see what happens and don't judge yourself and just hoop and have a great time. So now I'm going to show you just some things to play around with and like I said, I'm not going to teach you any tricks in this so it doesn't matter what kind of skill level you're at. So if we've just got the hoop going around our waist, just kind of play about with the, with the height that the hoop's going. So it's going around. Play around with that momentum and that speed so if you're kind of pushing it like faster it can kind of move up into the air, bring it down. So you're, you're actually not really doing anything, just passing the hoop around you, but you're playing with all this different space around you. The next thing as well, which is a pretty simple thing that I think people will kind of forget, uh, is also speed of the hoop. So kind of going from going really, really fast to just 
going really, really slowly. And speeding it up and slow. And adding that into the plane. And then with that as well, just following the hoop. So the hoop is a circle, so it, it doesn't have a point where it stops. So if you do this and if you kind of flow with it, then it like it will just naturally flow. It's a shape that will flow. So just just start swinging your hoop around and just see which way that it wants to move and move with it. So you're not telling the hoop what to do. The hoop is kind of just moving with your body. And then the final uh, tip for playing with the hoop is think of different ways to grab the hoop. So you're grabbing it, the hand is kind of facing down normally. What happens if you bring it in front and you kind of grab it here and then, oh, it flips around and then it goes that way and then you're grabbing it inside. And, you know, so you're really kind of using the inside of your elbows or... Woo! So possibilities are endless. So you don't need to know any tricks to flow, you just pick up your hoop and hoop. Thanks for watching, I've been Shani from Solar Hula and hopefully you ha will have learned all about how to flow and dance around with your hoop. Uh, this is my website address at the bottom and thank you Lauren for sitting through this tutorial with me. <laughs>